This is the Lemon Busters inspection of a 2007 Maserati Quadraporte. Color is burgundy at Greater Chicago Motors. Start out here. You can see there are some light swirls in the trunk. Real minor stuff that should buff out with the detail. Good shine, glisten to the paint. Tail lights are in very nice shape, no cracks or chips or anything along those lines. See carrying into the rear bumper. Once again, some light swirling, some little scratches. Exhaust tips are in good shape. Continue on the rear bumper, park distance sensors. Moving on to this tail light, as you can see it's in good shape. Overall, paint's in pretty good quality. Could use a, a clay barring and a detailing to get some of these swirls out of it. It's very lightly swirled. It's nothing that can't be fixed with a good detail. Just again, continuing into the quarter panel. Got some more light swirls. Some real light scratches, nothing that can't be buffed out. Some slight chips right there. Moving on to the left rear wheel. Wheel's very, very, very clean. No, no damage to it or curb chew or anything like that. Rear tires are beginning to get a little on the low side though. I only have about 3.30 seconds or so left on them. As you can see here, let's see if we can get it in. As you can see they're, they're pretty close to the wear bars. See there's our, our rear pad light. You can see it's, it's got about 45% left on it this point. I'm going to move on to the driver's side rear door. Once again, just more light swirling of the paint. Nothing that can't be taken care of with a nice detailing. There are some a little bit heavier scratches underneath the door opening. Some light chips and nicks right here. Nothing too horrendous. And there's a little, little chip right there. A little bit heavier scratchings into the door here. Once again, all this stuff looks like it should buff out pretty easily. Got some more heavier scratches here. Once again, just some more light scratches. Nothing that can't be buffed out or detailed out. Down the mirror, same same thing. Light light swirls. Again, we have some light swirling in the roof. Nothing too horrendous. Glass for the sunroof is in good shape. No cracks, chips, or anything along those lines. There are some, some scratches in the chrome here, and the, the ceiling is up ever so slightly. Some light scratches in the glass, nothing more than normal usage kind of stuff. Overall, the car is in pretty good shape. Moving on to the left front fender. Once again, some light swirls. Nothing horrendous. Moving on to the left front wheel here, as you can see. Wheels in great shape, no curb damage or any type of damage from having a tire dismounted or anything along those lines. See the front brakes are in fairly decent shape still too. You can see the tread life on the front, about 5.30 seconds left remaining, a little bit better condition in the rear, which is normal wear for these vehicles. Moving on to the front bumper and left front headlight. Left front headlight is clear and in good shape. Front bumper has, you know, your minor little imperfections. Nothing major in any way, shape, or form. Like a little touched up stone chip there and there as well. The meshing is pushed in ever so slightly right there. Nothing too major though. 
it's intact and, and secure. Right front headlight is in good shape, no cracks or chips or anything along those lines. Moving on to the right front fender here, you can see it once again it's in good shape, has some light scratches in it, stuff that should buff out. look at the hood here see the hood once again has some light scratches you can see in the, the reflection of the light here some light swirling overall the paint is in very good shape there is a slight little chip in the windshield right here as you can see slight little chip that may be repairable I'm not a glass expert so I cannot comment on that it is not in the line of sight, which is normally something that they may attempt to repair. There's another little chip in the glass right here as well. And the passenger side of the glass is in overall good shape. Moving on to the right front door your typical average glass condition no cracks no anything like that very minorly scratched once again we have more of the same light swirling that we've seen throughout the car there is a light scuff right there some other little light chips that have been touched up moving on to the rear door here you can see it's almost got a perfect reflection in it. Okay, once again it's got some light scratches here, here. None of this stuff is end of the world type stuff but the car does need a good detailing. Moving on to the right rear quarter panel here. You can see once again we're back here again with some light scratches. The right rear wheel here real good shape no curb damage or anything along the lines this tire also has about 330 seconds remaining on it's getting near the point of needing to be be replaced you can see the pad life here is pretty decent got about 35 40 percent left on this side Move back I don't believe I did the right front wheel here see here's the right front wheel once again wheels in real good shape no curb damage of any type on here or any scuffs or anything like that. It does have your typical like light scratches from driving use. Front brakes are in pretty good shape. Once again on the front tires here we got about 530 seconds remaining. Move to the inside. See the leather is in really good clean condition. Wood's real nice too, no no scratches or anything along those lines. Here we got the power seat. You can see it moving up and up and down. Leather's in good shape overall. Leather's real nice on the console along with the wood on the console. Your navigation display. Your power glove box. Unfortunately the car's gone to sleep. The remote the car went to sleep. All right. So again, the glove box appears to not be opening now. It was opening earlier. I'll try this again here in a second. Moving into the rear seat area, as you can see, the leather is very clean here. Got your power rear seat here. Leather on the back of the front seats is real good. The wood and the rear radio controls are in real nice shape. Leather's in real good shape. The only really noticeable thing in the interior is there's a little bit of a dirt scuff right in here. Nothing that can't be cleaned up. Carpet's real clean with no, no real stains. 
This completes part one of our inspection video.